Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about how to create a token. There are a lot of tokens in the market and most of them do not have any use case associated with it. They are fake tokens. They are made out of thin air. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own token with X amount of tokens and how you could make it publicly available to trade. Now, in this video, I'm not going to push it to a mainnet. I'm going to still use the testnet goalie, but you would see that how all of these pan out. And by the end of this video or in the next video, we are going to talk about how to be careful and how to understand if a token, a contract has value or not. Does it have a use case that can help you or the community with something interesting, all right? So let's create a token. Let's create a token named as Blockchain Beyond Basics. The symbol of the token would be BBB. Max supply 11 billion. The reason I wanna put 11 billion is because there are so many zeros to deal with. So I did not want to select 10, 20 or whatever. So that's why I selected 11 for you to understand how the zeros work, right? And then the contract type, I'm gonna use ERC20. Most of the tokens on Ethereum blockchain follow ERC20, most, right? And uh, transferable, yes, I wanna make this token transferable. So token name, token symbol, max supply, contract and transferable. So let's get started. In order to do this, what you need to do is go back to Remix and create a new file, create a new file and say BBB, which is blockchain. So create token BBB dot soul, right? So this is where we are gonna create our token. All right, so let's get started. So we are going to do SPDX license, Pragma Solidity. Please look at my previous video if you have any questions on the basics, right? So import the template for the ERC to token creation. This is the template. Now, if you want to look at the template, you can control and click on this. So control on your keyboard, press down control and click on this. It'll open up ERC20 so. And this is the contract that is written for all of us, for the community to be able to inherit inheritance and use this as the base. If you have to use it, you could. If you do not want to use it, feel free not to. All right, so this is the template. Please go through it. I'm gonna walk you through really quickly here. So this is the template. Uh, you have total supply, which is private. You have balances. You have uh, name, symbol. All of these are private and then you have constructors. So in the constructor, I'm gonna use this constructor to create name and symbol, symbols. Uh, the, the virtual, you, all of these func functions are virtual override. So make sure that you understand this based on uh, our previous videos, total supply, balance of, transfer. There are like a lot of functions that are written already and you can inherit and uh, override any of these functions, all right? So let's move on. So I have imported this. It's an import statement. That means that use this and then initiate a contract. So I'm gonna create a contract. BBB token is ERC20. Is means inherits. Next, I define the max total supply. So I'm gonna define the max. Remember 11 billion, that is what we wanted. I'm gonna also have balances mapping. If you remember in the ERC20, you have balances as a private. I'm gonna make it as a public. We will see why. Next, let's override the total supply. Please note the override keyword. So function, total supply, public view, override, returns, you int 256. This function I have copied yeah, as is from here. So just copy this function and paste it over here. There you go. This is exactly, all I did was remove the word virtual. So copy it from the ERC20 
copy and paste it. The reason is we are overriding the total supply. Next, override the balance of, because what we wanted to do is, as soon as the contract is created, I wanna transfer the 11 billion tokens to the, the initiator, the, the executor of the contract. And please note that the 10 into 18, this is for the conversion of way, ether to way. So these many ethers or the token, right? BBB token and 10 into 18. That means convert into way, 18 decimal places. So what we are gonna do is override the balance off. So I'm gonna copy this function as is, remove the virtual keyword and paste it over here. No change, remove the virtual keyword and paste it over here. Overwrite the balance. Next, I'm gonna create that constructor. So when you define the constructor, you would make sure that you put in symbol and the, the, the type of the name of the token. And please note that, as you know from the previous video, the contract, the constructor is the first uh, function when the contract is initiated. And this constructor function will transfer all of the minted tokens to the sender of the contract. So constructor ERC20, blockchain beyond basics, BBB, name and symbol. And balances, which is an, a mapping of array. We have explained mapping in the previous set of videos. So mapping, message dot sender, whoever is initiating, executing the contract and total supply, transfer it to that person or wallet. There you go. So this is basically the creation of the contract, right? Let's do stepwise. Step number one, create a new file, create token hyphen BBB dot soul. Next, double click and open it. Number three, follow the code here. So the pragma solidity, this is import templates. This is contract creation. Uh, this defines the total supply. This defines a mapping of balances. You have function total supply and balances overridden because now you are writing this, right? So this needs to be overridden and then you are creating the constructor. Well, let's go back to the requirement. You want transfers that needs to be happen. It needs to be transferable. You need transfers to happen. There are multiple ways to do this transfers uh, via approvals and everything which is available. So you have allowances, approvals and whatnot. We don't wanna do that. We want to override the transfer function, the transfer from and the transfer function. So let's find out. Uh, the, we want to override the transfer, transfer and transfer from function on our own, we wanna do that. So let's see how you wanna, you can do that. So I'm gonna create, override the transfer function. The function calls will transfer the ERC token from message.sender to any wallet address. That means the initiating, the originator is the message.sender. That means the owner of the contract. So the code is self-explanatory. It is function, it takes in the address to, because from is al already message.sender. Unit value, public override. And what it does is you wanna make sure that the, the message.sender, the person who is sending or transferring should have the value or more than the value. Otherwise balance low. If you have 10 billion in your account, if you wanna transfer 20 billion tokens, it does not work, right? So you have balances to value, balances message.sender, emit, Transfer, that means do the transfer. Emit means implement the transfer and return. So what it does is it adds the balance, the value to the balances of the two contract, the two address, and it deducts the value from the sender. So this is minus, this is plus. And then this does the con transfer. Let's override the transfer from. The transfer from meaning that you can transfer from one wallet to any other wallet, okay? So this function call will transfer the ERC20 token from a wallet address to any wallet address. The code is self-explanatory. So transfer 
from address from address to so balance you have balance to again from emit transfer and return true so you're going from one address to other address and finally close the close the bracket so this is how you are overriding two functions transfer and transfer from now with that said let's do this let's go to compile next step go to compile and make sure there is no error there are no errors no warnings good and make sure that you have 8.9 uh, up about 8.9 compiler and then let's do deploy so i'm going to show you here by by clicking on this and then i'm going to deploy it on metamask so let's do this i'm going to delete this you have deploy as soon as i say deploy you would see that these functions exist total supply 11 billion with 18 zeros symbol name blockchain beyond basics decimal places 18 because of this 18 now balance off now this is the con this is the account which deployed the contract so i'm going to copy this and say paste and say balance off so you would see that it has 11 billion times 18 way and then i can do transfers now let me do quickly transfer from the this account to the new account so i'm going to say copy it's not going to show it to you here i'm going to show it to you when we do the metamask and goldie transfer but just for the heck of it right so i'm going to do this and i'm going to transfer so many and say click on transfer and let's see what the error is it says that balance too low right so you want to make sure that i select the originator right <laughs> because i changed it the account number so again originator to the account ending in db and i'm going to transfer these and it transferred so i was i made a mistake i should have uh, selected back the cb2 so from cb2 to this unit value this it is transferred from the originator cb2 to ender uh, db so you won't be able to see here right so let's do a metamask so i'm going to delete this contract i'm going to connect through injected provider metamask and i am Let me see. Uh, it should be connecting. So I'm going to connect the account one more time. Uh, okay, so account one is connected uh, to the remix, right? So it says connected. Okay, and I'm gonna transfer it here. Okay, so this MetaMask uh, wallet is now connected and I have 1.66 Ethereum. All right, so let's deploy the contract. As soon as you click deploy, it's gonna ask you your permission to deploy and it's gonna take this much of Gorli ETH. They confirm and there you go. So this contract is going to be getting deployed if you click on view or ethernet ether scan it's gonna it, it takes some time like 30 to 40 seconds i'm going to pause the video and come back all right so the contract was deployed and this is the contract address if i go in here you would see that this is the contract address and you have the contract deployed okay now let's see the yep so this is deployed now what i'll do is i'll transfer or maybe let's see this contract right it says contract creation let's see this contract uh in our wallet i should be able to see this token right in our wallet so let's see this in order to do this what i'll do is copy the contract go back to metamask wallet and say import tokens i put in my contract address 
And as soon as I put in, it automatically detects that token symbol is BBB, remember? And say add custom token. You see this BBB 11 billion token now available to me. So in this account, you have 11 billion BBB tokens, right? Does it have value? Probably not, right? Now, so what I'm going to, absolutely not. It doesn't have value because it's testnet and these are like the tokens we created out of thin air. And this is where, how many people are fooled, right? So now let's transfer this token from this account to my second account, this one, right? So this is my first account and let's connect to this. And I'm gonna trans connect to transfer my some of the tokens over here. Okay, so let's do that. I'll say import tokens, contract address, BBB, add custom, there is no token here for now, right? So this is zero BBB and in my first account, I have 11 billion. I'm gonna say send. So I send to my other account. So I need to copy the address. Give me one second, sorry about that. So I'm gonna copy this, go back to the first account, say send. So I'm gonna say send. And in the drop down, I'm gonna select the BBB. So I'm gonna send, let's say, 1 billion and 18 zeros. BBB, so 1 billion, right? So you have 1,000 million, 1, 2, 3, 1 billion, right? Next, it's gonna ask me for gas. So 1 billion BBB tokens I am transferring and it's sending, It's it'll, it'll take some time to send those tokens. And if you refresh this, uh, you would, Hopefully it'll be transferred, it's pending. So if I go here, I can look at the block explorer and it's done. So I should be able to see 1 billion tokens, blockchain beyond basics tokens in that account. So I'm gonna go back to the account number two and assets and you see 1 billion BB tokens. And if you go back to account number one, it is 10 billion. So that is how you would transfer you know, you can you can list, list it on the exchange. You can create liquidity pools. Uh, those are different things. But again, that's how you would do. So look at that. You have token now, blockchain beyond basics. This is my contract. Uh, there are two holders, like two accounts. Both of these are my accounts. You can go validate on gorli.etherscan.io and you have this contract. Now, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to be, be aware of very careful about the contracts, the different tokens that are available and how to validate some of the contracts or tokens that you go through, right? So I'm gonna show you methods uh, and you will be really surprised at how easy it is. So with that said, this is the token that were created, a maximum supply of 11 billion BBB and you can find this contract code in the GitHub link that is provided in the description section of the video below. Again, thank you for watching.